Hi everyone, ready to dive into Power BI? By popular demand, I'm taking you from zero to crafting your first Power BI dashboard. In this video, we'll explore Power BI installation, we'll go through the basics of the interface, and we'll cover importing and transformation of data, date tables, relationships, and we'll jazz things up with themes and formatting, and finally, we'll learn how to create visuals and slicers. All of this will be covered within 20 minutes. For optimal learning, try to follow along, pause this video when needed, and ensure to download the source data from the link in the description below. You will also find the final dashboard we're crafting in this video. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. To craft your first dashboard in Power BI, you need first to install Power BI. And to do this, you go to Microsoft Store and you search for Power BI. I have it here in the recent search. I'll just click on it. You will find three different apps. What you want to install is Power BI Desktop. And because I have it installed, it shows that it's installed here. So let me open it. So this is the main interface you see once you open Power BI. And this is the startup screen. If you don't want to see the screen, whenever you start Power BI, you can just untick it from here. And close. Let's start by having a general look into the interface. I'll show you the main components you need to work with from day one of developing dashboard. So here on the top left, you'll see three tabs. The first one is the report view. This is where you show your visuals and we're inside the report view. The second is the table view. So whenever you upload data, it will show here and the tables will show here to the right. The third one is the model view. This is where you create the connection between the different tables. We'll get back to this in a minute once we start developing the dashboard. The other important components I want you to know here, the data. So here, whenever you upload the tables, you'll see all the fields listed here. And here, the visualization tab, you can see the different visuals. Those visuals are built in or native visuals to Power BI. They are available for you to use once we start creating the dashboard. We'll use some of them. Now we understand the general interface of Power BI, we're ready to work in our report. The first step of creating report is importing data. And to import data, you can simply select it from here if you have Excel. And also, you can access it from home. You can see here, get data. You can see a list of different data. And if you click on more, you can see many different sources you can import from. For this tutorial, we're going to use an Excel workbook. So we just click here and we locate the Excel file. You can see the navigator open for us and here it will list all the sheets inside the workbook. And if you have tables, they will be listed too. And we have only one sheet in our workbook. You just click on it select it and you click load once loaded you can see it here in the data tab if you expand this you can see all the fields available and if you want to see the data you can go to the table view you see all the data available in the columns and for this tutorial we are going to work with some employee data we have those columns employee number age, business travel, education, education field, gender, hourly rate, and so on. And also you can see here we have the joining date. So we can go back now to the report view. So this is one way of importing data to Power BI using external sources. There's another way to create data in Power BI using DUCS. We can create calculated table. 
and we usually use this for date tables and to do this you go to modeling you select new table and here in this bar you can provide the DAX code I already prepared it I'll just paste it so here you can see date table this is the name of the table we will create a calendar this calendar will be between the minimum value from the joining date of the employee data to the maximum value or the latest joining date and we'll create those different columns the year the month the month name quarter and and so on so you don't need to worry about ducks for now I just wanted you to know that you can create calculated tables we can commit from here once you commit you can see that the date table is showing here and you can see showing a little calculator here means this is a calculated table it's not imported and it has all the fields before we start working on the visualizations I want to show you how we can do some transformation on the data we imported and to do this from the home menu you go to transform data you just click here and this is called the power query editor this is where you do transformations and if you notice here the calculated table is not listed only the tables you imported from external source will be listed here and we have the HR employee data and you can see all the columns are showing you can do many transformations here for example you can replace values rename columns and many other transformations but just to keep things simple since we are just getting started with Power BI I'll show you for example how to replace values let's rename the research and development department here to R&D for example there are many ways to access this you can either click on this column and then right click you can see here a list of options you can go to replace value and you type the value you want to replace and the new name and you just click OK you can see now all the values are replaced and let's do one more transformation here if you notice the joining date is showing as date and time we just want it to show as date so you just select this column and from the home tab you can select the proper data type you want to transform to and here we convert it to date and you can see it's now date as we do more transformations you can see the steps are added here you can notice that the four the first four steps are automatically created by Power BI once we imported this data sets but you can go back and see those transformations by clicking on the step this is where it picked up the source navigated to the sheet and promoted the first row as headers then automatically try to pick up the types of the different columns and this step where we replaced the department name research and development by R&D and finally here we changed the joining date into date type if you want to delete any of those steps sometimes one of the steps is based on the other but in our, in our case they are not affecting each other so for example if I want to delete the replaced value we create for the department I can just delete it from here click on the X here and delete it we can see that the department back to the original name and we didn't lose the transformation we did for the joining date so these kind of transformations you can do it here and you can do much more in the power query but since we are starting with power pi we'll keep it simple and we will download those changes by going to home again home tab and click on close and apply now that we have the two tables already there is one step we can do from model view 
we can create a relationship between those two tables and we'll do that based on the joining date you just need to drag it and link it to the field you want to establish a relationship with and we'll select the date and you can see they're wired now that means they're connected and you can see the direction that the date table will be filtering the joining date so now individuals you can select fields from both and they will work together let's start by creating the first visual and for that we're going to use clustered column chart you just click on it it will automatically come to the canvas you can resize it for example and you can add fields to the x-axis and y-axis simply by dragging from the tables in the x-axis for example we'll have the department and in the y-axis we'll have the count of employees and for that we can use for example the employee number but here you can see it's using automatically sum we want it to be count to do this you just click on this arrow here and select count distinct and you can see here we're seeing the number of employees per department you can also rename the field from here simply by double click and just give it a name we can see it's changed in the visual too let's create one more visual we're going to use donut chart just click on it it comes to the canvas we can again put it next to this and resize it and for this visual we're going to have in the legend the gender you just drag it to legend and we can have more than one legend so we're going also to add the marital status and in the values again we're going to use the employee number and we'll convert it to count we can also rename it you can see here we have options this will allow you to drill through so in the first level we can see whether it's male or female if we drill through it will show both legends so this is male married female married male single male divorce and so on you can always drill up to to only see the first legend let's add one more visual for example line chart let's just place it here and for this we want to see the number of employees per joining date so in the x-axis we're going to select the date and by the way we have the date table and the employee table connected so we can select the, da the date from here we provide it in the x-axis and we select the employee number the y-axis and we convert it from sum to count distinct so now you can see the number of employees joined per each year now there's one important thing here you need to know inside Power BI all the visuals are interactive so if you for example select here only research and development you can see that both visuals are filtered or highlighted for example this highlights only the employees within this department and this visual was filtered to show only employees in research and development if you want to unfilter this you just click again and here you can see the total numbers again and showing and donut chart is not highlighted anymore so if you notice the way you want to design your dashboard is to read from right to left top down so we can have the summaries in the top or the visualizations and we can add details on the bottom and for details we usually either use matrix or table and for this tutorial we're going to use table you just you'll find it here just click on it it automatically comes to the canvas expand it and add all the fields you want here for example employee number and here it comes as sum but we want it we don't want any sum we we want to see 
all the employees so we select don't summarize here you can see it lists all the employees and you can select for example gender department business travel whatever fields you want to see in the table job role marital status and for example age and so on so you can see some of the columns because they have the type as number they automatically come as a, as sum you can simply select from here and select don't summarize our dashboard is almost ready one more thing you can do is adding slicers and Power BI comes with native slicers so you can select from here a slicer for example fit with the department you can see there listed here if you select the department it will filter the entire dashboard for you for example for this department research and development and so on you can customize this filter by selecting format your visual slicer settings and you can convert it for example from vertical list to drop down and here you can see that you can have it as drop down and you can reduce the size and move it on the top for example so you can switch between departments or keep them all selected you can also have a date slicer you can select the date and it will come automatically like between periods and the whole dashboard will be filtered as you slide those dates so let's use it as a slicer and we can place it on the top here let's resize those visuals a little bit so now we have all the visuals we need. Next, I'll show you how to do some formatting for those visuals. Power BI comes with some themes you can apply to quickly format the backgrounds and the look and feel of your dashboard. To select a theme for the dashboard, you can go to the view tab here and you can see the different theme available. For example, you can select for you can select this theme and you can see the dashboard background has changed the font colors has changed as well for our dashboard we'll keep the background white but we'll select different color scheme for example let's select this one or this one now let's format the visuals let's start by this visual from visualization you can select format your visual for example in the x axis you can remove the title Here you can also add data labels. You can see the data labels are showing now. And you can also from general, you can change the title. You can put it in the middle. And you can change the background color for the, for the header. Let's select for example this color. And the text color also we can change it to white. You can also from effect change the background. Let's for example select a gray color. Let's add borders to the visual with the rounded corners. And you can also to make it pop out a little bit so add some shadows. From here you can con control the direction, keep it at the center. So now you can see the visual looks much better. So now after you formatted the first visual you don't have to format each single visual separately you, you can select this visual and simply go to format painter and select the other one so now you can see all the visuals are formatted you can space them a little bit we can here from general just add borders with rounded corners for example 10 
And that's it. You have your first dashboard ready. Congratulations, guys. You have just taken a leap into the world of data analytics and visualization by crafting your first Power BI dashboard. Stay tuned for more tutorials and projects we cover right here. If you have questions, feel free to pop them in the comments. If you found a value today, hit the like button. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe to this channel to join the learning journey. Until next time, keep learning. Peace.